After striking a deal with IAEA on replacing cameras at a nuclear site, Iran has refused to share images from the sabotaged workshop. The deal was seen as a breakthrough in the ongoing nuclear talks in Vienna, but Iran is insistent that examination of cameras will not be allowed until after sanctions are lifted. U.S. sanctions remain among the sticking points in Vienna. Iran has demanded the complete removal of sanctions by Washington, as well as safeguard guarantees against future changes. Tehran and UK, UN Atomic Watchdog have reached an agreement on replacing the cameras at the facilities, which makes centrifuges. The decision will see cameras put back at Karaj, which came under attack in June. Since that attack, Iran refused access to the International Atomic Energy Agency to replace cameras damaged in the incident. Earlier this year, Iran also began restricting some IAEA inspection activities. The agreement to replace cameras came after Western powers warned time is running out to revive the 2015 deal. Reports said Iran would keep all recordings from the cameras. Spokesperson for the Atomic Energy Organization of Iran, Behrouz Kamal Vandi, has said the agency will not have any access to the information before sanctions are lifted. Since the nuclear deal's collapse, Tehran has started enriching uranium up to 60% purity. It is a short technical step from weapons grade levels of 90%. The 2015 deal limited enrichment to 3.67%, enough to be used in a power plant. Earlier this week, IAEA Director General Rafael Grossi had warned that limited access to Karaj had international efforts to monitor Iran's program. Grossi was also concerned about excessively invasive physical searches by security officials at nuclear facilities in Iran. The indirect talks between Iran and the United States are in their seventh round. Anxiety is growing among European nations at the negotiating table as Iran has taken an extreme position in, a, in the negotiations. The remaining parties to the 2015 Iran nuclear deal plan to meet today to adjourn talks on salvaging the deal. One of the diplomats said they were due to resume on December 27th, while another gave a time frame between Christmas and the new year. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.